Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my universal elevator. Now, when I say universal, I mean you could send anything up it and they will go up. So you could send a villager up there, you could send an item up there and it will work. But we're gonna go up there first and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the elevator while I'm going up it. So we click this button and boop. Now, this thing does have direction problems. If you want it to go this fast, you have to build it east or west. North and south, it will be much slower. But guys, I just rec recommend you guys just building it east or west. So now if we click this button, I can go back down. Now, another thing, if you don't have TU-16, then don't even attempt to build it. You need TU-16 for this or else you'll just phase through the blocks. I'm sorry guys for the people that can't update their Minecraft. I, I can't do nothing about it. And I'm not gonna move backwards for you guys. I gotta move forward with the game as it updates. I'm never gonna move, I'm never gonna move backwards. I'm always gonna move forward. So now if I throw a villager in there, boop, and let's throw an item in there with him as well. And I click the button, he'll go up the elevator as well. And then we'll send them down a much faster and deadlier way. <laughs> but yeah, I recommend guys just build it east or west. I will show you how to build it north and south as well. Oh, the item fell back down or did the item make it? Oh, the item made it. Okay. And you can go back down. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, let, you know what? You've heard me say it enough. Let's just start building this thing right away. All right, guys. So for this build, we're going to need a five by six space. And we're also going to have to dig down two. Now, we, well, we actually have to dig down three in a few areas. So just make sure you have enough room to dig down three. So for this build, I'm going to be building it west. So you can build it west or east if you want to make it go really fast. You can also build it north or south. However, you have to wait to the end of the video where I'll show you how to make it work north or south. But guys, I just suggest making it west or east. It'll, it just goes much faster. So I'm going to be building it west. So once you got your five by six spacing and you've dug down your two, come to the bottom left hand side and count over four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to put a block up right here. I'm going to be using my input block and we're going to put dust right above it. And we're going to put a block of choice right above the dust. And then on the inside, let me get rid of these two blocks. They're not needed anymore. And then on the inside, we're going to put a button here. So now if I click this button, the dust should come on. Cool. Then coming out of the block with the dust on, we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay. Dig down in front of that repeater and put a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it in front of the repeater. Then coming out of this block, we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay. This will create a monostable circuit. Then in front of this repeater, we're gonna dig down a block and put dust here. Then to the right of the dust, we're gonna dig down one and put a repeater coming out of the dust, set it to two ticks delay. Then we're gonna count up a block and then down a block and we're gonna dig out this and put a piece of dust right here. And then also put a block up and right in front of this one tick right above this dust like that. Then off this middle block here, we're gonna put a normal piston facing upwards with some sand on top of it. So now when I click this button, that sand, this piston should extend up and then down very fast due to our monostable circuit. So, boop. so it goes up and then down fast, boop. up, down. <laughs> Next, what we're gonna do is coming out of this block that comes out from our repeater off the monostable circuit. We're gonna put dust here. Then to the right, we're gonna put a repeater on three ticks delay. Put a block in front of your three tick delay repeater with dust coming out the top of it and then put another block right next to your three tick delay repeater. Next, what we're gonna do is swing down to the backhand side and we're gonna put a torch here. Then to the right hand side of our torch, we're gonna put dust, block in front of the dust, turn all the way around to the back side of this block and put another torch here. The torch should go off. Next, we're gonna put a block in front of our off torch and to the right hand side of our off torch and then right above the off torch. Then coming to the right hand side onto this block, we're gonna put a repeater on one tick delay going towards the block that has a torch on it with a block in front of it and then put another torch in front of that block. And then coming off the front hand side over here, we're gonna put dust and then these two dust will connect together. We do not want this. So we put a block right here to disconnect them. Then coming out of the block that has the dust next to it, we put a repeater on one tick delay going towards our sand block with a block of choice in front of it. Now we can actually set in our, our sticky pistons and our regular pistons. So right here off this block that has the torch on it, we're gonna put a uh, sticky piston facing towards us and then a regular piston facing upwards. So now if I click the button, this should go up and then this one should extend up as well. So button up and then up. Now it will not retract right now. This is due to, uh, it needs to uh, update this piston right here, but we'll save that for the last piston because I'm pretty sure you're not gonna make the elevator only go up two blocks. That would be kind of uh, ridiculous. <laughs> so what, if yours is not doing this, so let me delete this and put it back. If yours is not doing this, then obviously something is wrong and you're gonna have to fix it. So what we're gonna do is just delete that and put it back here. Now this is where you choose how high you want your elevator to go. Now I 
you to make this work the way I want it to work, make sure it's an odd number. So I'm gonna make mine 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. The reason why I make it an odd number is because for some reason I like the button on the left hand side for the down function. That's the only reason why I have it as an odd number. Now, if you're not making a down function, then of course, you know, it doesn't really matter, but I'm making it an odd number. Next, what we're going to do is put some normal pistons facing upwards in front of all our sticky pistons. And now this is where it's going to get super, super repetitive. It's just going to be repetitive over and over again. So actually what I want to do is I'm going to take out, well, I can get rid of my normal pistons now. I don't need them anymore, but I'm going to be using two different colors for uh, each side. So you guys don't get a, too lost with this. So now what we're going to do is right above this area with all this stuff, we're just going to make T, you know, before we do that, just make a line all the way up the back sides of our sticky pistons. So come all the way up the back side with a line and then put torches off the whole entire line like that. Now what we're going to do is make T's. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a T. So <laughs> make a T like that. See, it's a T. I'll do it again. So just make a T right above this one and then skip a block and make another T. And pretty much just keep doing the same thing over and over again. So make another T, another T, and another T. And then on this side, we're going to make T's as well, except we're going to do it in between each block. So right above this block, we're going to make a T. And I'm going to be using a different color so we don't get lost. So T. T. So if I look from the backhand side, as you can see, it's going, it's kind of making like a zigzag pattern. So there's nothing here. There's nothing there. Then there's nothing here. Then there's nothing there. So we're just going to make T's all the way up it. Da, 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 da. Make a T, T, and I'm pretty sure that's how high I need to go. Yep. This side should always be a little bit higher than that side. So let's just start doing some redstone. So on the back side of all these T's, we're going to put dust. So just put dust on the back of the T. And then what we're going to do is put a block in the middle next to each piece of dust. So put a block here and pretty much do that every, throughout each T. So just put a block. And then coming out of this block, we're going to put a repeater going towards the front where our button is. So pretty much just put a one tick delay repeater going towards the front. Make sure it's on one tick. It has to be on one tick and just do that on every level. So one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick like that. And then we just put our blocks of choice going all the way up. So put your block of choice going all the way up like that. And then off the back side of this T over here, we're going to put repeaters going into the blocks that have our torches on here on one tick delay like that. And then next, what we're going to do is literally, well, you know what? Uh, let's just do it on both sides right now. Let's just do it on both sides. So put dust all the way on the back side of your T's. Then we're going to put repeaters going into the torches. And then we're going to put uh, repeaters going towards the front of where our button is right here like that. And then we're going to put some regular blocks in here. And then we're going to put our block of choice going up. And now another thing before we move on right here. Okay. Right here. We can, where our input block is, we cannot have a normal block here and we cannot have a normal block here. We just cannot do it because this dust will send power through it, thus ruining the whole thing. So what we want, what you want to do is if you want to keep your uh, blocks of choice or whatever, I decide to use stairs. That's why I do just put an upside down stair right here and put an upside down stair right here. So now you'll see when it goes up, the sand block goes up, it'll just look like a normal block from the inside. So make sure you'd use upside down stairs right here, or you can use glowstone, either glowstone or upside down stairs. It really doesn't matter. If I missed a block right here, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is literally just make the dust going all the way up each T. So to do that literally is where this on dust is, just put a block right above it, then put dust and just do that the whole way up. Block, dust, block, dust, block, dust, not sand, dust, <laughs> block, dust, block, uh, no, that's it. Just make sure that this one, it does not need a block of dust right here. And then we're gonna put a block up in front of each dust, like so, just put a block up right next to it. And then put in torch on each side, the torches will go off. And then put your blocks choices right above each off torch. So all over each one like that, there we go. So now you can see that these one tick delay repeaters are completely so Now concealed. we're literally just going to do the same exact thing we just did over here. So what we're going to do is just go up one more block and then put dust here. And then we're going to go up block, up block. As you can see, it's one more higher than this one right here because we need it to get over to this side over here. So just now just do the same exact pattern we did over there. So block, dust, block, dust, block, dust, block, dust, and block, dust. No, uh, yeah, block dust. Okay. <laughs> I forgot we need one more extra to make the top one work. So now what we're going to do is put a block up in front of each dust. So block up, block up. You don't have to delete the block underneath it, but I like just making it look neat. There we go. 
And then we're going to put torches on the inside of each block. The torches should go off. And you'll see the reason for this one. Even though this one's going to nothing, you'll see the reason why we need that one there. And then we'll put blocks right above each tor uh, torch right here. So the sand should be working. It should go all the way to the top and this one should stay extended out forever. And we'll fix that later on, but just make sure everything's working right now. So what we're gonna do is click the button and make sure everything's working. So click the button and it's going up completely fine. Oh, I didn't watch it. There we go. Well, it made it. <laughs> so now if something messes up, then obviously you messed up a repeater tick, even though each, they should all be on one tick. Every single repeater should be on one tick. So it should look something like this. It should make it all the way to the top and then get stuck right here. So let's just delete that and put back our normal piston. Like right there, there we go. So we don't need our normal pistons right now. So to make it so it does not stick out the whole entire time, right here where this off torch is to the right hand side, this is why I said make it an odd number. I like to have, I don't know why I like having it on the right side. I just do, if you do decide to make it an odd number, then this side's just gonna be over here and you're gonna have to make your down function on the right side and not the left side. So all we literally have to do is where this off torch is, just come out one more block from here and then face it into this sticky piston and put dust here like that. So it should look something like that. So now if I do it again with the sand down here, it should make it all the way to the top and then just go right back down. So it goes all the way to the top and then just goes right back down. See, fixed it, done. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to make it so we get uh, pushed out when we get to the top. So what we have to do literally now is just put some blocks of choice going up here and right here. And now all we have to do is measure where our sand reaches. So just make, make sure you measure where your sand goes. So just measure it. So our sand ends up right here. So this is the height where our sand ends up. So right here, where we're gonna, what we're gonna do is come out one more, two more blocks like that. And we're gonna put a sticky piston here with a block of choice. So every time, when you make it to the top, just make sure you have to go up three blocks. So one, two, three, and then put a sticky piston behind it. I keep falling. <laughs> so just make sure you go up three. So one, two, three, and then put your block here to push you out. So this right here should be your, your uh, final floor, your top floor. So to make this sticky piston work, all we have to do is literally put dust right above this off torch. And then just, you know, you can, do, you can, uh, you don't have to disconnect it. I just like doing it. And then we're going to come out one, put a repeater here on two ticks to light, put a block up in front of you, two tick delay repeater with dust right here like that. So it activates this sticky piston. So now if I take the elevator up, I should go all the way up and get pushed out. So go all the way up and get pushed out. Boop. There we go. So now what we have to do is just make our little frame a nice little frame right here like that and that's our whole up function we got the whole entire up function in so if you don't want to make a down function then you're done that's it you're done all right guys so now that we're done with our up function now all we have to do is make the down function now you don't have to make this one you can make it more simple on like a water blade safe drop or something if you don't feel like wasting the resources but if you want to make it then go right ahead <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is come off the left hand side once we're up the top we're gonna come to the left hand side put another block of choice here with a button and then right below this block with a button on, we're gonna put a sticky piston facing towards our wall. So actually, let me get rid of our floor right here. So what we're gonna do is put a sticky piston facing towards like that. And then we can put our floor back in actually. So boop, 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 boop. So now when I click this button, this block gets, comes out, waiting for me to go inside and fall down. Next, what we're gonna do is come two blocks out. I'm gonna be using yellow wool for my down function. So we're gonna come two blocks out from where our button is. And we're gonna put dust right here with a torch on. And actually, let's just put in all the sticky pistons. So to put your sticky pistons in, all I do is just put a roll of blocks going all the way down, one out from the wall. And then right from the top sticky piston right here, we're gonna skip a block and put another one facing inwards and just do that all the way down. Skip one, put a sticky piston facing inwards all the way down after skipping one. And then literally just delete all these blocks because they're just gonna get in the way. So now from our on torch, we're gonna come down a block and we're gonna put dust right here, but do not put dust just yet. Make sure you have a block right above this dust right here so they do not connect together. There we go. And then we're gonna put a torch on the side of our dust and the torch should go off. Then come a block out from the off torch to the right hand side like that. And put a repeater coming out of the off torch on two ticks to light. Put a block down, in, well put a block up in front of your two tick delay repeater. And then a block out and put dust right here. So now when I click the button, those two should extend out. Boop, boop. And then that one should let you out first. So I'll just go in it right real fast, so boom down down like that and that's it literally all you have to do is the same step over and over again so just put a torch well you know what let's just bring a row of blocks all the way down from this one just bring a row of blocks down and then delete every block next to the sticky piston so this will make it a lot easier and then put a torch on the back side of each well not a yeah put a torch on the back side of each one i was right just put a torch on the back side of each one and then put dust on top of each block like that 
and now literally just do the same step over and over again so come a block out from the on torch so just come right over here and just put a block next to the dust and put dust right here the dust should come on with a torch and just do that all the way down actually just make a block come out from each dust right here so uh, you know i'm just gonna make a row down again <laughs> it's just so much faster to do those rows down so now just delete every uh block that's in front of the normal block so stop doing that there we go so delete every block like that and then put a torch on the back side of each one and then put dust here here they all should go off actually the last one doesn't oh the last one doesn't need one never mind don't listen to me <laughs> and then just off each block just put another repeater so i'm just gonna go another row of blocks all the way down and then delete every block next to the torch like that and then put two tick delay repeaters coming up out of every off torch so two ticks two ticks two ticks two ticks and then put a block up in front of every two tick delay repeater so you can just make a whole lineup if you want to here you don't need to do the whole block thing and actually we need one more dust right here like that so our whole down function should be working that's it that's our whole down function so now if we click this button get inside and we go down and you guys are done so now all you have to do is like spruce it up make it look a little bit nicer but guys a very easy build and now it's time to show you the north south one all right guys now to show you how to get the north south one working <laughs> north south version working so what we have is our five by six spacing right here and we dug down our two so we're going to literally do the same exact thing we did last time you don't who cares about the block choice so we're going to put a block up with dust put a repeater coming out of it delete down a block put a sticky piston put a block above it put another repeater here that'll create our model stable circuit now this is where it gets different so we're going to put a block up in front of our one tick instead of deleting down and putting dust there we're just going to put a block up and then put dust next to the block and then we're going to put our regular piston facing upwards with our sand on it right here so put your normal piston facing upwards next to this dust with your sand on top of it so now if i put my block right my block of choice right above this with my button facing inwards click it it goes up and then down up and down and then coming out of this dust we're going to put a block here and then turn left and put a repeater here on three ticks delay and then this is where we're going to make our t so we just put block here with dust put a block right above this three tick delay repeater a block this way and there's our t see it see our t right there and we're gonna put a repeater going this way on one tick a repeater going this way on one tick and put a block up in front of it with the torch and then pretty much just put our block of choice here and just make our uh our little thing to go up so we put a sticky piston here and a, a regular piston here and then we click the button and voila but now this is another thing that gets different each repeater here that is normally on one tick delay of course i need a block right here actually to make it work each repeater right here that's on one tick you have to put it on two ticks that's it so that's how you start it and then each repeater instead of being on one tick going into the repeater has to be on two ticks and that is the reason why it's slow so that's how you get the north and south version working just make sure this is on two ticks and the bottom looks like this but there you guys go that's how you build my universal elevator if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest video so let me just go up one more time <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.